they started out breaking the covenant. Now, let's go to Exodus chapter 34, and we'll begin reading at verse 10. Exodus 34, and we'll pick it up at verse 10. 34 and 10. Go ahead and read. And he said, Behold, I make a covenant. Before all thy people I will do marvels, uh -huh. such as have not been done in all the earth, nor in any nation. Mm -hmm. And all the people among which thou art shall see the work of the Lord. For it is a terrible thing that I will do with thee. Uh -huh. Observe thou that which I, I command thee this day. Uh -huh. Behold, I drive out before thee the Amorite, and the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Hivite, and the Jebusite. Now these they were all Hamite nations. And they was dwelling there in the land, and they really big on that paganism then, and they still really big on it today. But now he said, now he said, now, you know, observe and do everything that I command you, because I'm gonna drive out all of these nations before you. Go ahead and read on. Take heed to thyself, uh -huh. lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land whither thou goest, lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. Now he said, You be careful, you don't make no covenant with the inhabitants of the land, these it be for a snare unto you. So what they they serving all these other guys now. Now if you don't if you don't take heed and and you and you start to associate yourself with these people and then you learn their way, then they are gonna turn you away from serving me. Go ahead and read on. But ye shall destroy their altars, uh -huh. break their images, and cut down their groves. See what the Lord said: destroy their images. Cut down their image and tear up their groves. Go ahead and read on. For thou shalt worship no other god. For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. The Lord said, I don't want you worshiping no other God. In other words, remove yourself away from everything and everybody. And remove everything away from you that might cause you to serve any God other than me. Go ahead and read on. Verse 15. Go ahead. Lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, uh -huh. and they go a whoring after their God, and do sacrifice unto their God, and one called thee, and thou eat of his sacrifice. Now, this, you know, this is what Paul was talking about, wasn't it? Yes, sir. You know, and they were still into that, even after many generations later, they were still into that. Go ahead and read that next verse. And thou take of their daughters unto thy sons, and their daughters go a-whoring after their God, and make thy sons go a-whoring after their gods. Go ahead. Thou shalt make thee no molten gods. Now he's saying, don't make thee any molten god. Now, let's go over to Numbers chapter 33, and we'll begin read at verse 50. Numbers 33 and verse 50. 33 and 50. Okay, Numbers 33, and began at verse 50. 33 and 50. Okay, go ahead and read. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye are passed over Jordan into the land of Canaan. Now, you know, they were about to pass over Jordan and go on into the land of Canaan, which is the land that the Lord promised them. Go ahead and read on. Then ye shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you. Now, you say you drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you. Go ahead and read on. And destroy all their pictures. Now, and destroy what? All of their pictures. <laughs> so you know, I told you that you know, it wasn't just all about uh, taking some wood and carving a, 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 a big uh, image there, a graven image there. But now he said even destroy their pictures as well. Because you know they had pictures everywhere of their God. Now he said destroy their pictures as well. Go ahead and read on. And destroy all their molten images and quite pluck down all their high places. Now he said, destroy their image and tear down all, all these high places. These were places of worship. So the Lord is telling Israel, you remove everything from around you that might cause you to serve any God other than me. You know, you tear up the pictures, you tear up the images, and you tear down the high places as well. Because when, when you look around, I don't want you to be tempted by none of these things that they will become a snare unto you. Now, Let's go to uh let's go to uh 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 Deuteronomy chapter 17 and we're gonna pick it up at verse one. Deuteronomy 17 and we began reading at verse one. We're gonna get to the future uh, to the present a little bit later, but now we're just looking at it in the past here. Lord was serious. 
about this idolatry thing here. I'm going to show you. The Lord was very serious about that. You know, but nobody deals with that. They don't even bother with that anymore. They don't even bother telling you about that anymore. Amen. Start reading at uh, Deuteronomy 17 and began reading at verse 1. 17 and 1. Go ahead and read. Thou shalt not sacrifice unto the Lord thy God any bullock or sheep wherein is blemish, or any evil fairness, or that is an abom or for that is an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So you know the Lord didn't accept no sacrifices that was not perfect. Because and the reason is because these sacrifices that they did back then, it was pointing to something bigger. It was pointing to the real sacrifice. Yes, so you know the Lord didn't accept any sacrifice that had any flaws in it whatsoever. The Lord even had it set up so that the man that offered the sacrifice, he couldn't have any blemishes in him as well. You know, he couldn't be uh, a crooked-footed or uh, 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 none of that stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Even the one that offered up the sacrifice had to be perfect, and the sacrifice itself had to be perfect. Go ahead and read on. If there be found among you within any of thy gates which the Lord thy God giveth thee, uh -huh. man or woman, that hath walked wickedness in the sight of the Lord thy God and transgressing his covenant. Now he said, if there be found in any of your gates, whether it be a man or a woman that hath walked wickedness, this is what the Lord said you had to do to them. By breaking the covenant, this is what you had to do to them. Go ahead and read on. And have gone and served other gods. And have done what? And have gone and served some other god. Now, this is the covenant that the Lord gave back then. Now, look at what the Lord said you were to do to these people. You say, well, we don't stone people anymore. No, you don't. But as I said earlier, if you really think that the Lord had a person, whether it was man or woman, did not matter to God. If they went and served other, some other God, then they had this punishment coming. And if you really think God punished somebody back then for serving some other God, but you can do it today and get away with it, then you got another thing coming. God going to do something to some man that lived 2,000 years ago. Now this other man going to come along in this generation and do the same thing. When the man raised up in the resurrection, he said, well, Lord, you know, you had me stoned to death for doing that. So why is he uh, getting away uh, and, and, and not being punished at all? For That's right, brother. That wouldn't be just, would it? it would. Go ahead and read on. And worship them, either the sun or moon or any of the hosts of heaven, which I have not commanded, and it be told thee, uh -huh. and thou hast heard of it, Good. and inquired diligently, uh -huh. and behold, it be true, and the thing certain, that such abomination is wrought in Israel. Now he said, you know, if it be told thee, and thou hast heard of it, and inquired diligently, make sure this thing really did happen, and found out that that thing be true, then, and they walked this wickedness in Israel, look at what you were supposed to do to them. Go ahead and read on. Then shalt thou bring forth that man or that woman, which have committed that wicked thing unto thy gates, uh -huh. even that man or that woman, and shall stone them with stones till they die. See, well, and this is, this is not what Moses said you supposed to Who is right. telling you to do this? Lord. God is saying do this. Not Moses telling you to do this. Right. This is what God telling Moses that you tell the people this is what's going to happen to them if they do any of this wickedness by serving any other God. Go ahead and read on. At the mouth of two witnesses or three witnesses shall he that is worthy of death be put to death. Uh -huh. But at the mouth of one witness he shall not be put to death. Go ahead. The hands of the witness, the hands of the witnesses shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterward the hands of all the people. Uh -huh. So thou shalt put the evil away from among you. Now he says, so that you might put the evil from among you. So now this is what God said you were supposed to do to that person, right? Let's go now to uh let's go now to uh uh uh, uh numbers chapter 25